I learned in homework class, you basically, you stitch backwards into the previous stitch that you've done. So here you can see there's a gap. I put the needle through that hole and it brings it to the other side, which overlaps the stitching that's already been done there, but it creates more strength for the stitch that you're making. And then on this side, in order to continue making progress to cover the hole, I go a little bit in front of where the previous stitch. So this is where the last stitch went. I go in front of it about, I don't know, half a centimeter or so and push through. Once I do that, it's gonna create another gap on this side. And again, I go into the hole near the previous gap, which again is gonna overlap the stitching that's already been done. And then when I go again, I go a little bit in front of the stitch and go through the hole. And that's how you create, a, I guess it's called a back stitch, but it creates pretty much a straight line of st stitching that will cover up a hole and it will be pretty strong and won't come undone. That's it. Final result isn't perfectly straight, but you see all the stitching there. I went ahead and used the lighter and frayed off the rest of the edges so it wouldn't fray anymore, but it's all stitched up, so that's cool.